Yeah, digging into the point that you just made about some of the limitations around agents, you emailed to me ahead of us recording this episode. I I was actually, I was caught off guard. You said something like, agents won't fly. And in this time where everybody is talking about agents, so just as some examples, Jensen Huang, the CEO of NVIDIA, said recently at the Consumer Electronics Show that this is the year, 2025 is the year of AI agents. Mm -hmm. Salesforce CEO Mark Benahoff is equally bullish, predicting AI agents will take over the labor force. Andrew Ng, uh, Andre Karpathy, they both say that agentic AI will revolutionize labor and is paving the way to AGI. Uh, But so when you and I were uh, discussing over email potential topics that we could cover on the show, you said to me, AI agents won't fly. And so I was so surprised by that. I mean, I knew that you might mean they won't work at all, but it's so contrarian that I asked you explicitly, I was like, do you mean they're not going to be like flying airplanes? (laughs) (laughs) Or are you saying that it won't work? And you meant the latter, you meant that they won't work. Um, And then you elaborated, you said agents will never work in real life because one agent is just a rebranded LLM. And then it has the kinds of in-distribution issues that you were just describing. And then you went on to say that while more than one agent working together, a multi-agent system is undebuggable. So I don't know, do you want to dig into this a bit more? Well, uh, I, I have a couple of comments. Uh, first of all, uh, Karpati, uh, I respect him very much. Uh, and he is very cautious in, in his choice of words. So uh, he never uh, says something like, okay, agents will replace humans. He, he posts his ideas like how it might be, but he never predicts that it will actually happen. But uh, those uh, who you mentioned, like, for example, the NVIDIA CEO, uh, well, we should understand that these people, when they speak, they don't speak, you know, uh, of their heart. They speak as representatives of a huge company that should be responsible in front of their in, uh, share, shareholders. And if s- saying something increases the uh, share uh, value, and it's not it's legally permissive they do it so he he's he says uh, he knows that uh, if you say that agents to, uh, this year will become huge it will mean for investors that you need to buy more gpus because uh, like if everyone runs uh, agents and you and you don't have have gpus to run them then you lose so Saying something like this uh, just works well for his specific uh, company. Salesforce, the same thing. When they started, um, they 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 uh, um, they said that okay, traditional software is dead. And now it's uh, software as a service, and they they even had a logo where it says say software and uh, like cr- crossed like okay, like it's gone. But traditional software didn't go anywhere. Uh, yes, there is a lot of uh, SaaS, but there is a lot of traditional software too. And now they sell. They say, okay, well, SaaS is dead. Now it's agent. Uh, will it happen? I, I really doubt that. Yes, some use cases, agents will be probably good. Some use cases, again, if we look into this in-distribution versus out-of-distribution, so the best use case you can imagine for an agent is the agent that gathers information, like uh, well, uh, like crawls the the web, finds some interesting uh, documents, some relevant documents for your business for decision making, and extract it, kind of aggregates into some report and sends it uh, to some to to some decision maker. Why it would work is because LLMs were trained on on the web data, so for for them, web data is the closest to industry to in-distribution that you theoretically can get. So, of course, if you say that my agents are agents that crawls the web and, and, and you know, extracts pieces of relevant text, yeah, why not? It, may, it might work. Is it a huge use case? Do everyone need agents that crawl the web and extract relevant information? Some might, some probably not. Some might say, I can just Google uh, the information that I need, or I have, I, I for example, I have Google alerts uh, about uh, every time someone mentions my book online, I receive the alert. Is it an agent? Well, <laughs> someone might say it's a, it's an agent, but it's just you know 
a, a cron, cron job uh, that runs uh, a search on Google Index. So these people, they are interested in promoting their, uh, their you know, business, and this is what they say. Um, but talking about multi-agent system, I, I, uh, my PhD was in multi-agent system. And uh, so if I understand something in, in AI, one, one might say that it's multi-agent system. So the, the biggest challenge with multi-agent systems and any distribution systems is to debug them. Debugging uh, is hard because it's a multiple, like when you debug a typical software, like, uh, I don't know if you have an experience uh, coding, uh, for example, some function doesn't work or like the code enters this function and then it crashes. So what do you do? You run the debugger, uh, you say you put a breaking point uh, in your function and you run the, 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 the code, the code runs until it reaches the breaking point, then it stops. And then you have this uh, next, 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 like a step by step where you can execute each uh, command or operation uh, one by one. And it, by doing this, you also can observe how the values of all uh, uh, like a variable in the environment, how they change. And this is how, as a human being, you can detect that something is wrong, and this is how you will update your code. Now, imagine that you do this for one of your agents, and then 25 others still do something, and you, you cannot stop you know, all of them uh, at, at the same time, okay? So you, you will, because all of them are independent pieces of software, so they will still operating while you, you, start, you, you try to debug one of them. And this is when you actually control them. But with LLM-based agents, you don't, you don't control them at all. You cannot debug an LLM. An LLM, it's, it's a neural network. It's a black box. There is nothing to look in, inside to say, oh, why the, why the information flows this specific part uh, in, the, in the neural network? This is not how it's done. Like, it it's, it's either works or it doesn't. So imagine if you have like uh, 20 or 50 such agents and when they especially interact to one another, because like it's one thing to debug, you know, 25 independent agents, but when they all collaborate together to provide some final result, uh, it's crazy. And de debugging a distributed system is uh, difficult because of this. So it's, it's not, it's asynchronous. asynchronous. So it's, it's, uh, like every process runs independently of every other, you really, you really cannot really kind of stop the, the whole system and debug it. So this is why I'm very much skeptical about, uh, about agents. As I said, like for some very specific use cases, it will work. But imagine you have agents that should navigate your intranet, not internet, but your intranet with all those legacy software that you have. You have... A uh, software that contains uh, your employees' uh, salary and performance and so on. You have a software with SharePoint with some outdated information. You have uh, your Git with code. You have your documentation, uh, everything. And you put agents in, in, in there, and they don't know anything about any one of your, of your internal systems. They see them for the first time, and you think that just by uh, telling them, "Okay, you are a helpful, intelligent agent. You can, uh, you know, walk through different uh, applications in my intranet and ask and you know uh, find issues and uh, and fix them." Come on, let, let's let's be realistic. They will uh, break their teeth uh, quite quite fast. <laughs> All right, yeah, that's a that's a compelling argument. So our researcher Serge Massis. He had a question for you that, you know, maybe this is a tricky pet question because maybe there isn't an answer. Maybe multi-agent systems just can't be debugged. But, you know, given your PhD in this, maybe you have some insight into some kind of alternative architectures or design principles that we could use to create robust and maybe even interpretable AI systems for complex tasks. Um, well... I think uh, if we are realistic, okay, so any multi-agent systems uh, must be must give you 100% control over every actors in the system. Well, we can call them agent, okay. So if you can control every agent, you can design a specific schedule and specific 
communication interchange uh, protocol that will allow you to detect uh, bugs or misbehavior. So, for example, you can you can analyze how agents uh, exchange information, what was in those packages, and uh, detect that something was abnormal. So, with LLMs, as I said, it, they, these are black boxes, so you really have zero control over how they think, uh, how they make decisions, and, and so on. So, I think that if we want to be realistic that in the future there will be some agents uh, that will do job for us and we can sleep the night uh, without worrying that they will launch some nuclear code, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, enter some nuclear codes and, and launch nuclear, nuclear missiles. I think, yeah, it, it should be uh, something uh, similar to what they call uh, AGI, like... Uh, artificial general intelligence uh, where at least uh, we can trust this AGI the way we trust a regular human being. And you know that, uh, you know, in, in, um, in security, like if you, if you, for example, you want to secure some, some important object or you want to control access to some important uh, briefcase, there is never one person. Okay, and often even you, you, we saw in movies like to just to open a door, uh, two people must be on a significantly long distance from one another so that one person cannot use two keys, and then two people must turn these two keys at the same time. One is why why this is done. This is done because we as humans are unreliable. Okay, so if we want something secure, something stable, something we can sell to with our customers and you know say it's a good stuff it should be as reliable as a human based system but today no one will argue that those agents that we talk about they're nowhere close to be as reliable as a human so until this happens building multi agent systems with such agents it's a it's a recipe for for disaster so somewhere in the future we will have this ag agi and we will see if we can trust it and if we can create systems similar to human based systems with you know these additional levels of of security by doubling tripling uh, people but not today and uh, as far as i know today there is no one having a clear idea how to reach this future with this uh, agis being being the real thing and not you know something from uh, science fiction